I've been drinking this tea every night to help prevent bloating and to help promote GI health. It's super simple and can be made in literally like seconds. Or there's even high quality store bought options that you can use as well. Let's dive into it. Okay, so pretty much every night I make this tea and it's made from two really important ingredients, lemon and ginger. But this is where the magic, and I mean like magic literally because this tea is magical, really happens. Most people think of bloating as like eating too much salt, but actually bloating is caused by bacterial fermentation. This is when the bacteria in your gut is munching on the food within your GI tract and then literally just farting it out into your small intestine. That's what can cause the distension or the constipation, all those various not fun issues that go along with bloating. And the migrating motor complex flushes that out. Within our body, we have this gut cleaning process called the migrating motor complex or the MMC. And when this is turned on, we're able to flush out left behind food and bacteria that would normally cause bloating. But the issue is a lot of people aren't getting this activated, either from eating too frequently, like snacking throughout the day or grazing because the MMC is only turned on when we're not eating or because it's stalled from things like poor sleep or high stress levels. So especially if you're snacking and grazing and you're getting poor sleep and you have high stress, you need some ginger tea in your life. So there's two really great ways to stimulate the migrating motor complex. One is by eating less frequently. So using something like not snacking or using intermittent fasting, which obviously I talk a lot about and I have a lot of videos about and you can check those out on my channel. And the other is to stimulate it with ginger. Ginger is really the only food item that actually stimulates our migrating motor complex. And in fact, it is so strong that you will see in various SIBO supplements to cure SIBO, which is small intestine bacterial overgrowth that they use highly concentrated forms of ginger to get the MMC going. Okay, so I'm going to show you the two really easy ways to make this, so let's get started. Okay, so this first way is by using fresh ingredients, which is kind of my preferred method, but there's another store-bought option that works as well, but I want to go over this one first. So all you do is you take about an inch of ginger, which is maybe a little bit more than an inch, and then you just slice it up. You don't have to worry about peeling it, you just slice up the ginger. Once it's sliced up, you just put it in a small pot or a saucepan, and then you go for the lemon. So for the lemon portion, you just need about a half of a small lemon. Now I'm just going to add this straight into the pot. I like to personally squeeze the lemon juice in and then just drop the whole thing of lemon inside. And now I'm just going to fill up about like eight ounces or so of water into the pot, get this to a medium heat, reduce it to a simmer and let it sit for about like five or 10 minutes. If you let it sit for about 10 minutes, you get more of that ginger powerhouse that's actually extracted and into your tea. So if you have the time, I would recommend letting it simmer, keyword simmer, for about 10 minutes. Now something else you can do is make a really big batch of this. So use a lot of ginger, a lot of water, and a lot of lemon, and then let it simmer for 10 minutes and then just keep it in your fridge on hand so you can just heat it up whenever you want. Okay, so while that simmers, I'm going to show you guys the other option, which is great if you want something that's non-perishable, is fine sitting in your pantry for a long time. And that's this Sailor's Cure All Tea. So it's by this small company that I just randomly found. Actually, my mom got it for me for Christmas like a while ago, and now I just keep ordering it. Oh, it smells so good but this is essentially just a big jar of dry ginger, dried turmeric, and then some seaweed. And although turmeric is awesome, the main powerhouse here is still the ginger. So all of these little ginger pieces are the things that we're actually looking for to help promote the MMC and help to prevent bloating. So making this is really easy. You just get your kettle hot. I usually like it to be at about like 150, 160 degrees, and you will need some type of like tea strainer. I got these on Amazon super cheap, and they're really easy to use as well. I like how it has this little clamping feature. So you can easily just like claw grab at the tea. And then you just stick this about a teaspoon's worth into your mug. Once it's reached like the temperature that you want, you just pour it in and let it sit for about three to five minutes. This helps to make sure it's actually extracting out the ginger and the turmeric. So this is a really convenient option if you want something that's pretty much non-perishable that you can keep in your pantry. I'll have this tea linked down description below if you guys wanna check that one out. Also have the recipe for the homemade version written down description below as well. But these are teas that I drink every night to help me de-bloat and help my gut just feel really healthy and very clean. This one is more convenient, but this one is my favorite. <laughs> So make sure to try it out. Let me know what you guys think. But if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in my next video.